All right, I'm just gonna do a quick video on my homemade hydronic heating. This is a tubulose chip heater. It's a little firebox. It's been sitting here for a while. Uh, it's kind of insulated. And inside it is a copper water jacket that goes round and round. I don't know if you'll be able to see on the side there. And it's all kind of coming apart and it's very old. And it was leaking. So what I did, uh, before I knew it was leaking, I had hot water coming out. And that would go up that and into the wall where I've got my panels go through a panel, through another panel and come out here then I've got a riser going up there in case the water gets too hot and needs to expand then I had a pipe coming down uh, down to here running along and going back in but it was leaking and it, these things are ridiculously efficient they're small but like I said they're insulated all the heat stays inside they're just crazily efficient. So the water was boiling up the pipe into my panel, which was very unsafe. It was spitting out the riser there. It wasn't happening. I couldn't control the heat. Uh, I'll quickly bring you inside. <coughs> just to show you what I mean. We're living a little bit rough and ready out here. So, I've, it's been summer, so I haven't used this for ages, so I've got stuff stacked around it, which you wouldn't have in winter. So in comes the hot water, disseminates through the first panel, uh, comes down there, along there, into this nice long panel, and, uh, sorry, it's too dark, uh, out there, that goes back to that outside. But it was all too hot. Um, boiling hot, not good, uh, couldn't control the heat, so had to change. So what I've done is I got a friend of mine, uh, to make a dampener, right? So fire's going inside, fire gets too hot, fire shuts down. And then I've got this roll of copper pipe, that's 10, uh, 11 meters of quarter inch copper pipe. And that's gonna be my new heat exchanger over the flue. So, uh, Slightly hard to do one handed. So, when I've got my roaring, uh, this, I'll take all that out so that pipe in there will be empty. When my roaring fire is going, heating that, I don't know yet how well that's going to work. I wrapped that copper as tight as I could, um, but I don't know how it's going to work. But anyway, if it does get too hot, I've got the option of closing that dampener down and opening it up to let more heat and smoke through there. And uh, I'll show you when it's all rigged up and see if this thing works.